What is the most outlandish, hilarious, surprising, thing you have ever seen go down in public? As a man that has reached the ripe old age of 48 I can promise you I have seen some go down. This one totally takes the cake for me though. I was waiting out front of a truck stop back in the mid-80s. Sitting on a park bench with a guy that had a big Rottweiler kinda dog on a leash with him. I tried to make small talk but he was quite a sourpuss. So we sat in silence for a few minutes until the most unexpected thing I have ever seen, happened right before my very eyes. While we were sitting there a big 18-wheeler pulls in without a trailer, bobtail, so he parks right up front like a normal car would. Inside the cab of the truck with the driver is a little monkey. The dance for the organ grinder kind. I think they are called rhesus monkeys perhaps. Well the dog spots this little monkey and proceeds to go over it. Lunging at the end of his leash and barking at the top of his lungs. Generally making a real spectacle of himself to say the least. The driver is obviously upset, but not nearly as much as the monkey is. Actually upset may be the wrong adjective to use for the monkey though. In retrospect I think eagerly aggressive may be a more appropriate description for his disposition. He was pacing the dashboard back and forth. Never taking his eyes off of this very aggravating dog. The driver opens his little triangle window that they don't make on cars anymore. The ones made for smokers back in the day. He yells out to this douchebag to call his dog off because it is upsetting his monkey. The guy laughs and says no way, I told you he was a jerk didn't I? Says that his dog ain't bothering nobody. The dog hasn't shut up since he laid eyes on the monkey. I promise you he is bothering everybody for several blocks around. Now here's where things start to get interesting. The driver says that if he doesn't call his dog off he's gonna let his monkey loose on that dog. Douchebag laughs and says that his dog would eat that monkey alive. Upon hearing this the driver leans over and reaches into his glove box I guess. Pulls out one of those tiny baseball bats like you used to get at Astroworld or carnivals, and places it in the monkey's hand. The monkey obviously knows what's about to go down because he is now trying to squeeze out of that little triangular window I mentioned earlier. This monkey has murder in his eyes if I have ever seen it. Driver hollers last chance to save your dog's ass man. In response douchebag lets his dog off of the leash. Now we have a situation that has escalated to the point where we have a dog jumping up at the window and a monkey screaming profanities right back at him. Well, the driver finally rolls down the regular window and out leaps all kinds of miniature primate hell. The dog never knew what hit him. Quick as a flash this monkey is riding on the back of this dog's neck. His two back feet all wrapped up in his neck fur with one hand hanging onto an ear. The other hand as you may have guessed by now is steadily and mercilessly raining down blows about this dog's head and face. I mean hard blows. You can hear them whap whap whap. Well it only took a moment for the dog to realize he was in way over his head. He bolts yelping bloody murder as he runs away at full speed. I mean this dog is running so hard he's throwing up tufts of grass and dirt as soon as he leaves pavement. The monkey still riding him and beating on him the whole time. Douchebag acts like he wants to fight now but several people including myself stepped in to stop that nonsense. In a couple of minutes or so the little monkey comes loping back with his little bat still in hand, and leaps up into the still open window of the truck to await his master who has gone on into the store. That wanker ran off to try to go find his dog, but I don't know if he ever did. My ride showed up and I had to go. Never again in this lifetime will I see something so totally crazy and unexpected like that. I am both fortunate and humble to have been so privileged to be present for such an event. So Reddit, please do tell. What's your craziest thing you have ever seen in public? TLDR small monkey beats the out of large dog. Was having a new exhaust put onto my Subaru by a small specialty shop in Buffalo, New York. We dropped it off and then said we would just go walk around for a couple hours till it was done. Staff advised us not to as it was a rough area, we were 19, and from Canada, what's the worst that could happen? After walking through a couple blocks of burnt out hoses, and straight out of the movies, for us, 
Ghetto W decided to turn around and get back to the shop ASAP. We walk around a corner only to see a group of five large, thuggish-looking young black men ahead of us, they notice us, turn and walk in our direction. Instant brick, do we run, do we plead for our lives? We decide to do the Canadian thing and just keep walking like nothing's going to happen. The gang reaches us after a few seconds, kind of does a half circle around the two of us, there is no escape, only robbery, or death. What appears to be the leader makes contact yo, we got a question for you guys. We sheepishly reply uh yet. What's the plural form of? Uh, I think so. One of the other gang members blurts out see I told you man. As they all kind of laugh and thank us, tell us to have a good day. That is my only encounter with American street youth. So I was loitering with a couple friends in a little village style outdoor mall that's pretty popular in my city. Without warning, a massive group of people turned the corner onto the street and started walking down it together at a brisk pace. Not a flash mob, no one's shirtless, just a group of what had to be three or four hundred people all walking together, and as they're walking the ones on the fringes of the train are calling out to passers-by to join in. There's no indication of where the group is going or why and no one is explaining themselves or holding signs or anything. We're near the end of the street, watching more and more people latch onto the group out of sheer curiosity as it moves en masse towards us, and I said, it, let's go. So we tacked onto the side of the train and followed it for ten minutes or so into the heart of the mall, where there's a small park with a sculpture garden and a fountain. By that point there were way too many people to come close to fitting in the park. I would estimate at least a goddamn thousand packed together. The guy who was leading the parade approached this young woman who was sitting on one of the benches there, who was looking pretty bewildered at being surrounded by hundreds of strangers. Another young guy who was with him, sort of a ringleader type, turned to face us as a group and started to shout sing lean on me. With no idea what was going on, the rest of the group joined in until there were enough people to fill an auditorium all singing lean on me together to this complete stranger of a girl in the park. We got about a minute in, to the end of the second chorus, before the guy's friend shushed us by raising both hands, and everyone went dead silent. Then the guy who was leading the parade got on one knee and proposed to the girl. She said yes. Everyone cheered and dispersed, more or less. It's one of my favorite memories, just because of the sense of being part of something greater, for no reason except that we were all human. With no idea where we were going or why, we still joined the parade of people and sang to this guy's wife-to-be, because it was a good thing to do. TL, DR, I join a man's spontaneous flash mob to help terrify the woman he loves.